Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> when uh, I entered the seminary in 1983, one of the obligatory readings that we had to do was the biography, to read the biography of Arnold Janssen. That time he was still uh, blessed. He was made, he was uh, beatified in 1975. And uh, the first thing, uh, reading the biography of Arnold Janssen, to me, to tell you frankly, I was not impressed. It was unimpressive reading his. Uh, I read that. Uh, and uh, I was thinking, how could he become a saint with this very uninteresting life? I mean, knowing, for example, having read the, the life of St. Francis or other famous saints with their, I mean, very I interesting details. No? It was not so appealing to me, you know. I was then a young seminarian. As I progress in the in the in my formation as a religious in the religious life and for the priesthood, especially when I came to grapple with the issue of discernment, if this is really the life God has called me to to be. Once again, I came to appreciate and ha reading once again the, the life of Arnold Janssen that made me appreciate the greatness of this person. Arnold Janssen, no, if there is one thing that impressed me a lot about him is his preoccupation in finding God's will and he did it through prayerful discernment he struggled in in every that's one thing that constantly that you would see in his life that he was always after knowing the the will of God in discerning God's will but it did not stop there also, when he discerned that this is really the will of God, he would pursue with decisiveness. Even things seems to be contrary or not favorable, he would pursue. No? Having cleared that this is God's will, he would give his everything to pursue that. One of the great examples is the foundation precisely of this congregation, the Society of the Divine Word, in an atmosphere that was so unfavorable. There was religious persecution that time. Priests, bishops were imprisoned by Bismarck. Yet, he had that idea of putting up a missionary congregation to be sent to other lands to proclaim the gospel. And those he consulted, no, they were saying, the commentary afterwards, this guy is either foolish or a saint to be putting up something that is in such a situation, he is putting up something that is contrary to human logic yet he pursued he appealed to bishops also he did not have much funds for it yet he pursued maybe especially in in our world today where there are so, so many options, so many proposals. I think Arnold Janssen would be a good 
example for all of us. No. The desire to know the truth, the, the desire to know God's will in a prayerful and meditative consideration of God's will would be of help to us to know the direction of our lives. In fact, in my priestly in, the, in my preparation as a, pre, as a seminarian and also as a priest in terms of decision-making, discernment, my devotion to Arnold Janssen increased also, knowing that he who was very serious in knowing God's will would also help those who seek sincerely God's will and uh, so as I uh, come to to uh, read and meditate and know him better his work and his mission came to realize the greatness of this man apparently unimpressive but the virtues now of a man of God indeed is beautiful and inspiring so he was able to achieve what God has asked him to do because he was sure of God's will and he pursued it with passion and thanks to him that uh, the missionary church or the, mis the mission of the church through his spiritual children, the SVDs, the uh, SSPS sisters, the Pink Sisters, you know, his, the mission, his contribution to the mission of the church continues. So, in our world today where uh, we are confronted with so many challenges, especially in terms of truth, of discerning what is true, let us approach and ask Arnold Janssen to help us bring uh, nearer to the truth of Christ. And his devotion to the Word, that's why he named the congregation Society of the Divine Word, precisely because of his. Now the he saw the centrality of Jesus Christ as the center of mission, the embodiment of God's truth and love. That's why he named it, and uh, the congregation in the name the the Society of the Divine Word. Dear friends, we ask the Lord and we thank Him also for the gift of uh, St. Arnold to His Church. And may we also continue to follow God's will in our lives and uh, our devotion to Him, to St. Arnold, may be of help also in our times, in our lives. St. Arnold Jansen, pray for us.